I forgot, did you end up watching last night the uh, BMX Freestyle Olympics? No. Uh, I, I watched some of it, that was pretty cool. Really, I forgot. Well, no, wait a minute. It was I hard did... to watch online. It was like, you had to have like an account and all this stuff. Wait, we were watching some of the BMX riders, right? Um, for the X Games, probably. That was the other day. I don't know what it was, but these guys were flying, man. God, they, the BMX well, riders saw... are so good at keeping their momentum. You're talking about the guys that were riding at like Pat Casey's house? No, I'm talking about the BMX racers. BMX. Oh, the racers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, that they guy. they just keep their momentum right in a straight line. They go so fast. And I think it was that guy Connor Fields who got hurt. That was a hard fall. Yeah. Do you remember? Yes. That was crazy. in the first corner. Yeah, I don't know if it was the first one, but like, yeah. Damn, that was rough. They get they really get moving, and the girls. They just they don't look like girls anymore. I mean, they look like girls, but they ride like they're like you're supposed to ride. I mean, it's amazing. Yeah, the girl, I watched some of the freestyle last night and the girl I got first, her name was Hannah. I forget her last name, but she was insane. Was it ground freestyle? It or was park. Just park? Mm-hmm. Okay. Wow. So she's riding spines and stuff? Yep. Wow. Crazy. Oh, it's going to be on again today on TV. Oh, cool. All right, so enough bullshitting. We're gonna, what we're here for today is we're gonna unbox the 40th anniversary BMX Action Trick Team box. I guess we're calling it, right? And we've been warned. Oh yeah, so this one isn't exactly like what you guys were getting. Mike threw in some extra stuff in here for us. I guess some leftovers or whatever, so. That's what he said it was, leftover stuff. So we're gonna see, and our we already got our jerseys separately, so I don't think our jerseys are gonna be in here, but should be. Hopefully you didn't put any surprises in there. Yeah. <laughs> no one Mike. All right, shall we get to it then? Yeah. There goes Sasha, she didn't like that. Well, hold up, don't be so brutal with it. It's so a you box. You want me to open it, right? Box within a box. So that was the shipping box, okay. So, so hold on. Turn it around so we can see the lid and everything. He's up. There's a. Well, if you look under here. Got your autographs? Yeah, that's cool. And then, can I see the lid again? I'm getting it. It's, it's like a donut box. Very nice. 1981 to 2021. That's pretty cool. With the Duke from Oakley. I didn't know that I was on there. Yeah, of course. He was part of it. That's a big awesome. part of it. Can we open it? Oh, and all of this was, this box was, or that logo on the front was designed by Shea Snow, right? I'm pretty sure Shay's the one who did the logo on the front. And Mike, Mike's daughter had something to do with it. She was the one things. who put everything together and got all the orders together and uh, found all the pe like where we were going to order it from. She did a lot of the designing as well. Yeah, she's good. Yeah. She's really good. Okay. I think we got the box coming. Yeah, I think you can open it now. So inside the box is that. What is that? Oh, the Hall of Fame. That's the copy of the Hall of Fame plaque. Do we have that here still? Oh, isn't that up on? Yeah, it's right there on the wall. Hold on, let me see here. So we got that. And then on the wall here, the real deal. This is, we're really moving up with two cameras. Well, one's live streaming, and then the other's for our tubers, our YouTubers. Right. We're big that. time now. Cool. That's exciting. So you got that in 2009 in San Diego, California. This is the story. Wait, hold on. This is like, oh wow, that's cool. It's not printed on there. It's like a separate deal. Yeah, it's separate, but it's on a thick card. ABA, what's ABA again? American Bicycle Association. Uh, so that was like the organization of everything. For the, I guess when the plaque was done, I'm guessing, but they were back way better. First it was NBL. 
Uh-huh. Wait, no. NBA. Which was Ernie and Suzanne. Uh-huh. And then it went to ABA. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Ernie and Suzanne were good people. They they put on they put on the races they put on were like um more like a festival. Not so org it was organized, but way more laid back, you know. That's cool. Yeah, big jumps, no landings, you know, it was great. Ernie and who? Who? You says Ernie and who? Ernie and Suzanne. Oh wow. Suzanne would sit in her van and take you'd walk up to the window and um, she'd take your money and your your entry fee and everything. I wonder how they decided to get involved with all that. Ernie and Suzanne? Yeah, like were they riders or like? They were, um, there was a motorcycle park. Before I raced bikes, I raced motorcycles at Indian Dunes, mm -hmm. minis, I raced minis. And uh, Ernie and Suzanne were the ones that were putting on that race. Oh, wow. They're putting on the minis. And he had something big to do with Indian Dunes. But um, yeah, and then we got in the bicycles racing and their association and everything. and. Um, I didn't even know it was them until like 10 years later. Really? Yeah. How cool. That's where like all the Paul Furman, Church, John George, David Clinton, Tom Lynn, Billy Wood, all those guys came from. Are Bobby those, and Cenas. Those were racers or freestyle or? Race. 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 Eric and Robbie Rue. Those are just the uh, letters that came with it. L letters. Do you want? We're not gonna keep it up so you can read it, right? No, that's okay. Got the first T-shirt. Open her up. So this is that picture from, isn't it the Bear Sea? Huh? This picture, isn't this from the Bear Sea? No, this is from Houston Astrodome. Houston Astrodome. That was scary. This was your first time with Mike Buff performing, right? Might have been. I don't know. Mike uh, said that, but man, there were, that was a uh, motocross race. We were in halftime. Oh, really? And the the Houston Astrodome, I guess it is, was packed. Jesus. Solid. I mean, it was nervous, very nerve wracking. It was what? Nerve wracking. Oh uh, yeah. Stuart Stu Thompson was behind this ramp holding it up. So it wouldn't <laughs> fall over. Really? Yeah, and a lot of like Turnell Henry, a lot of the guys, big guys were doing it. That's funny. Yeah, thanks for sending this stuff, Mike. Yeah. I appreciate it. Then we got the other shirt. The BMX Action Shirt Team. That's cool. That's cool. I've never seen that one. I like that. Yeah, I like the logo. Yeah. Very clean. Got the donuts. You want me to take out all these stickers? Oh, I don't care. I want you to do There's a Duker you sticker, want. BMX action, 40th anniversary. The donuts. And the donuts. Man, this is the first time I've seen like the whole box. Really? There's a lot of work in here, man. Yeah. <laughs> BMX stickers. Action, Trick Team 40th sticker, BMX Action, like that one. ODI, Mike Buff, Old Bones. Old Bones Therapy. That's cream is good. I gotta get some more. So, this I believe is at the World's Fair in Tennessee. I'm pretty sure. You can see all the people around the water. Oh, wow. Well, and that big tower. The, the jump. <laughs> yeah. Sure, yeah, so that's the 40th anniversary box. Somewhat of an unboxing. I know I know, Big Bike Beat Max, uh, Craig and Isaac are, have a video coming out of their unboxing of it. It'll probably be much better. Of <laughs> unboxing this? Yeah. So in the bike design that we're going to be building, which is right in here, um, I, I, I'm running Maguras on the back and the front, okay? Now, there's not a hydro dryer from what I have found that consistently works good. So um, I rode without a gyro and um, 
But I also wanted to be able that if, if you did want to run a gyro on the bike that we're building, the point was I wanted to get a really good V-brake, make sure it worked on the frame that we're designing mm -hmm. in case you wanted to run a gyro right. or a rotor or whatever you wanted to run, any kind of a detangler, you're going to have to have a cable actuated brake. And uh, so that's why we're testing it here. I'm going to probably test one on the front too. Some people don't like dealing with hydraulics. And uh, so I want that option to be there, whether you want to wear hydraulics or cable front and rear, yeah. or a POTS mod or a gyro that we'll have an answer for you. Now, all I can tell you is I've, I've ran some other brakes on here and they didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> These things really work. And it's just beautiful, simple piece, you know, this clamp for this, you can, this is for the brake pad right here, obviously. This clamp, this bolt right here, you can move it up and down or you can tow in your brakes. So you don't even really need these curved washers to tow in your brakes. Oh, that's nice. You could do it with this clamp. Yeah. Um, so towing is a lot easier. Um, and then the basic adjustment, just like on a um, U-brake with this right here, but it's, it's within itself. Let me get up here with this thing. Let me give them a close up. It's very nice. It's and I think, so if you got to take your wheel out, pull that up, and there you go. It's got a hook on it, which hooks into here. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. There it goes. Very simple. All right, cool. No issues with the fat tires. Um, no, no. Um, they stick out a little bit. Uh -huh. I'm not worried about this, you know, um, but um, they, they hang out just a little bit and I couldn't put any washers under here. This is because the V-brake mounts probably need to be pulled out a little bit, uh -huh. but um, I don't know. Maybe it's better to have these out a little bit for pulling uh, braking power. Mm -hmm. I don't know. And then um, this is a design, as far as I know, I came up with. I'm sure there's going to be some kid, somebody that was like, no, I did that 20 years ago. Well, fine, you did it then. <laughs> but you know how we design, you design stuff and some kid, they did, they were talking about um, the backwards rubber ride I used to do. They said, someone said, I saw that right before my run uh, and I did it in my run. I'm like, that thing took a long time to learn. There's no, I want Brian Blyther where I could learn new tricks in my run. Yeah. Anyways, so we came out with this, which is an oval peg because um, when you're doing peg wheelies well, on a straight peg, the bike wants to fall to the right. So you're really twisting your bars. So this pushes your body a little bit in and it balances the bike out a little bit. And on, on ground tricks, you know, tail whips and whiplashes and all that other stuff, they're very comfortable. They just seem to be working better. Mm -hmm. um, I just, I really like them. I've only, I've been riding them about a week and a half. And, um, and if you're grinding, because it's tapered, it sits on the grinding post or grinding pole a little bit easier um, because it's tapered. It almost down. like sucks you onto the rail. Yeah. Anything we should share in terms of updates on the bike design? We lifted the crank. I lifted the crank so that when you grind. For grinding purposes. Yeah, the crank hanger, I, I lifted so that, that when you grind, you're all pegs. Or if you want to put your pedal down, you can, but your crank won't get in the way. Um, and uh, just details on the brakes. Now, you know, of course, I'm testing the brakes right now to make sure that we want to go with Magura. Um, that's probably about it, I think. Cool. I've never even seen this hammer pad, but, <laughs> but this came from David Clark. He owns the general, the yellow general that's painted like an RL22, mm -hmm. um, which we just sent, we're sending back, beautiful bike. Yep. He gave me these, um, which is cool. These were probably made after I didn't own it. Oh, but, really? Yeah, good looking pads. It's like a knee pad. Yep, hammer Sleeve. knee pad. Is there like a hard thing in there? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I'm not sure how that's supposed to work because as soon as you land on your knees, this is going to tear. But whatever. All right, guys. Thank you for watching our live stream and unboxing of the BMX Action Trick Team 40th anniversary box. Yeah, thank you, Mike Buff, for sending that to us. Yeah. 
Nice looking stuff. And everyone, Shay, for helping out with the design of everything and just everyone who bought one and supported us on that. Yeah, great job, Shay, yeah. as usual. Cool. All right, I guess we're gonna head out then. Maybe. Oh, one other thing. Yes. Did you stop it? No. So I talked to Eric Wolf. He got the bike like two days ago. So Eric Wolf has the Wolf General that I've been building for probably a year, eight months or something. He's got it. It's at his house in Arizona. He just has to open it. He's going to film him opening it. And uh, then once we get that, we'll show you guys. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's actually complete, done, and to his house. Yeah. You think I was ever going to get past that? I know, <laughs> right? That's a big step. Huge, man. It's hard to see it go. But anyways, that's about it. Yeah, Thank we'll, you guys for coming out. And um, we'll talk do, to you soon. We'll do a live stream soon once we have another cool topic to cover for you guys. Yeah, we're going to have a few coming up here.